Coaching. Clarice, how may I help you? Hello, yes. Uh, could I have Duffs in London, please? I'm sorry, can you have which number in London? Duffs. Right, how are you spelling the name, please? It's a D F S. D F S? Duffs. Right, no, um, sir, can you confirm which name you require? Yes, Duffs. Right, and you're spelling it. How are you spelling it then, sir? I spelled for you already. I didn't hear you, sir. This is why I'm asking you to repeat. Well, I spelled for you again. It's D F S. If it's D F S, is it a furniture store? Yes, they sell test for three piece suite. Right, sir, so it's D F S, not Durbs. Durbs, sir. No, it's just known as D F S, sir. D F S. No, sir. D F S. D F S. No, sir. Can you just forget everything we've said? The letters, D-F-S, is just the name. There is no pronunciation of it. The fifth is it. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Hello, can I help you? I wanted uh, to check some prices for your food. Well, that's double the price, you Double the price, that's why they call me Toey Tips. It's illegal, we can't allow we it. We want by DVD? No. I'm a baby, I'm a in here. I just require your bank account details. All calls featured are real and performed by one man, the phone jacker. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. I'm calling from the money transfer. From the what? The Eastern Union Money Transfer? Eastern European Money Transfer? Yes. Uh, it says here on the computer that you have uh, 86,000 Ugandan dollars uh, waiting to be paid directly into your bank account. Oh, yeah. It seems that you have answered all the security questions correctly, but you're having a little trouble uh, gaining access to it. To what? To your bank account. Oh, yeah. Yes. I just need to obtain your sort code and uh, account number, and we can... You're having a fucking laugh. I beg your pardon? You're calling me up, making out that you that I'm one for money, and you want my bank details. Are you kidding? N nobody has... Are you kidding? There is no price draw here, sir. What the sir. hell are you talking about? Who are you? Somebody has paid their monies into your bank account, sir. Somebody has paid 86 what? 1,000 Ugandan dollars. Well, what does that... What is that... What is that in, in sterling? At the current exchange rate, the Ugandan monies would translate into approximately 17 pounds 52 pence. 17 pounds 52 pence, and you want my sort code? An account number, sir. You've got no chance. But, sir, we have 86,000 Ugandan dollars standing by waiting to be paid directly into your bank account. I don't care. I don't even know who you are. Well, basically, sir, if we do not pay the monies into your bank account, then we have to charge you storage because we have to keep the monies here. You have to charge me storage. What are you on about? Sir, we need your bank account details. You need my bank account details? Yes. How's about this? Fuck off. Is that the sort code, sir? <laughs> it is totally innocent. Naked. Good evening, can I speak in how can I help you? Hello, hi. Um, my wife has left her mobile phone at home. Yes? And she's gone out for the night. Yes? Um, I decided to have a look in her text messages. Yes? Meet you tonight at Zilly Fish, 8.30. I'll be wearing a straw hat. I'm worried that she's having an affair. Just, just a second. Have, have, have you seen a lady tonight wearing a straw hat? Straw hat. Just a second, I'm going to look around for you, okay? Th thank you. Alright. Gentlemen, hello. Hello. Hello, um, may I help you? Yes. I, I've, I've just explained to, to your waitress. Yes, uh, you're apparently looking for somebody. No, my wife is having an affair. Uh, it's not our problem, sir. I'm sorry. Is but she I cannot, there? I cannot keep you. I don't know who is your wife. She's uh, wearing a straw hat. 
I don't know. I didn't know. Can you just, for please, for the sake of my marriage, just tell me whether there is a lady there, a large lady, wearing a straw hat? And if she is there, then is she with somebody? Uh, Come on, you're Italian. Uh, sir, look, there is, there, there is a lady with, with a hat. But, yes, there is a lady there with is? a hat. If you want to... But I cannot keep it. Is she on her own? Is she with someone? Sorry? Is she with someone? With, uh, with another person. I don't know who is. I cannot, it's not my problem. Is she with another be... man? No, it's not a man. It's not a man? I don't, it doesn't look like a man to me. It's a woman. Huh? It's a woman. Yeah. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, so now I really have to go. <sighs> bye, so bye bye. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Yes? Maserati 3200. Talk to me. Did you see the asking price? I did. 23 Hang about, look. We're not talking money just yet, all right? How much you I want? I want to know a bit more about a car before we get into that. Come on, Sorry? you got to seduce me. You don't just jump into bed with Terry Tibbs. <laughs> you take Terry Tibbs out for lunch. You yeah. wine and dine him. You give him an oil massage. And then he gives you 1950 if you're lucky. Uh, have you uh, driven Maserati before? I have. I own oh, five that's... of them in the 70s. It's a great car. It's a great Beautiful drive. car. Beautiful. What color is it? It's uh, blue. Natuna blue. It's a blue? Yeah. What Natuna about the interior, blue. though? Interior is cream. Half fat or full fat? Uh, full. Full fat. Very nice. It's a, it's a very nice car. Uh, why are you selling it? I have to move. That's move why away. Sweden. Take it with you? No, it's a uh, right-hand drive. So? Drive on the wrong side of the road. They'll love you out there for that. <laughs> You'll make the news that girls will be all over you. <laughs> I do like those Swedish girls, I'll tell you that. Oh, I had know. a Swedish girl, 63 she was. She <laughs> came up to me. She said, excuse me, sir. Do you mind if I sit down next to you? I said, hang about. I'll get us a hotel room, bit of room service, make life for nine hours. I wake up, I look down, and she's got a pair of balls. I couldn't fucking believe it. <laughs> Are you pissing? No, no, no. I was... You're not urinating while you're talking to Terry Tibbs. That's no way to do business, let me tell you. All right? You want to do business, you sit in the front room, you make yourself a nice cup of tea, and we talk. Uh-huh. I give you oh, 17 coffee. grand. How much? 17. Sorry. 17.50. Sorry. You're going to Sweden. What do you care? I'm sorry. I give that. you 17.50 and a beautiful three-piece IKEA sofa I just bought. It's fucking ugly, but I tell you what, you'd probably like it out there in Stockholm. I'm really sorry. Talk to it's me. A, it's a Let me tickle you. Call. Let me tickle sorry. you. Yeah. I put my little index finger under your chin, give a little wiggly wig, and you'll say, Terry, I'll take 18 grand, thank you very much, and good night. Sorry about that. 19 grand. Sorry. 20 grand. It's, it's a beautiful car. It's you know, a beautiful it's car. It's fully serviced. Beautiful. It's got everything. Beautiful. 16 grand. How much? 16. <laughs> You're joking, yeah? I'm not joking. No um, one jokes when they talk to Terry Tips, and Terry Tips does not joke back. I give you 11 grand. Thank you, good night. Much love. Hello? Um, I need some advice. I was looking for a new mobile phone. All right, sir. The only thing was that uh, about, uh, well, three months ago, I uh, had my thumbs removed. Right, okay. In a freak baking accident. Right, okay. So um, I just wanted to know what, what the best phones would be for someone with uh, no thumbs. Oh, um, that's a good question. It's like, um, there's certain phones you could go for, sir. There's not like a, a dedicated handset for um, like a person without a thumb. What I'd recommend... No, it's two thumbs. Two thumbs, yeah. Right, uh, what I'd recommend is something which gone. is... Gone. They're gone, yeah? Mm. Okay. Well, uh, what I'd recommend is something uh, like voice recognition. Um, you've got your four fingers. I've got eight fingers, yeah. Yeah, well, you've got eight fingers, yeah. Mm -hmm. What you could do is um, keep a finger on, with Nokia, keep a finger on names. And basically, now do I hold the bloody thing? Well, you hold it in your hand. What, without a thumb? Right, or you could put it on the desk or something, or... What if I'm on the bus? Then you put it on the chair. In front? On the side of you. Well, if I'm sitting next to someone... You can rest it on your knee. Good point. And all you do is keep your finger on that names button. Right. And it's all voice activated, so... But if, if it's you... on my knee, then it's quite far away from my, my mouth, isn't it? You have to put your head down a little bit. 
And so I've got to put my phone on my knee, bend over and, and shout a name. Well, you don't on shout the bus. Well, you look well, freaking what, ridiculous. What else could you do? Well, I don't know. That's why I'm calling you. Right. I'm not like an expert on... Well, obviously. Bloody useless. Who's that? Sorry? Who's useless? You are. Is it? Well, I think I'll call somewhere else. No then. problem. Hello? Christian. Si? It's Mario from the letter shop. Ciao, Mario. Listen, uh, I don't know whether Andreas told you, but we opened a new shop. New shop? Yeah, we got a new shop open, but the thing is it's on the other side of Oxford Street. Oh, yeah. So which way are you pointing the sign at the moment? Towards oh. us? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hot time. Yeah, do me a favor. Can you just spin the sign so it's pointing the other way? Ah, uh, sì, yeah. Capito? Ho capito. Mobiti, grazie. Yeah, yeah. E hey, ciao. Ciao. Eighty-six thousand Ugandan dollars, madam. <laughs> that sounds lovely. Hello. Hal, I, I need some advice. Go on then. I've, I've got a bit of a cat problem. Okay. Basically, he, he, he keeps coming into the yard. Keeps coming into your yard? Yes. Um, there's not an awful lot you can do, really, other than not open the door. No, no, but it's not, it's not my house, you see. Whose house is it? It's the owner's. The owner's? Yes. And it's their cat? Yes. Every time it comes into the kitchen, it tries to eat me. It tries to eat you? Yes. So I'm a mouse. You're a mouse? Yes. Okay. So I was thinking, do you sell catnip? Yes. How much catnip would it take to render the cat unconscious? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. If, if I can get a, a cat toy, some catnip, some rope, and a blowtorch, uh -huh. we might be in business. I think you might well be in business, yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay the cat toy on the kitchen floor, uh -huh. and I'm going to cover it in loads of catnip. So he comes and grabs it, those are conscious. I'm going to tie up his paws, I'm going to tie up his toe, and when he wakes up, I'm going to ask him to apologize for eating my mum, eating my dad, eating my brother, and one of our cousins who is just coming for the day. Oh dear. He's a field mouse, you see, he's a country mouse. Uh-huh. He's naive about the city life, you see. Okay. And then I'm going to blowtorch him. I wish you all the best. Our cat's flammable. Um, uh, yeah, very, I think. That's it. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. They're mourners. Hello? Good afternoon, sir. Uh, basically, sir, I'm calling from your building society. Mm -hmm. It seems that uh, there has been a slight... A discrepancy involving your bank account, sir. Yeah. Uh, basically, what has happened is uh, the monies that you have accumulated in your account over the year, sir. Yeah. They need to be pressed and steamed, you see. Pressed and steamed? Yes. You know when you make a withdrawal at the cash point, sir? Yeah. Uh, the money comes out very crisp, yeah? Oh, I see, yes. Uh, however, the, the man who was in charge of these uh, responsibilities... Uh, he suffered a cardiac arrest, sir. Oh, no. Yes. And unfortunately, uh, he has locked himself inside one of the vaults. That's tough. Now, inside one of these vaults uh, uh, is your bank account. Mm. But in order for us to get to him before he runs out of oxygen, uh, we need to obtain your bank account details yeah. so that we can send the salvage team into the bank account, uh, resuscitate uh, the gentleman, uh, send him to the ambulance, hospital, etc., and uh, hopefully everything in the bank account should be as good as new. Yeah, that would be great. So if I could just take your sort code, sir. But, yeah, unfortunately, mm -hmm. I can't actually give you that on the phone. So I think we should leave him But, there. sir, the time is of the essence, sir. Yeah, I'm sure. The alarm bell went off less than 20 minutes ago. Well, there we are. It is my job to obtain as many personal details from you as possible. Yeah, which, which I'm afraid I'm not going to give to anyone I don't know. But, if but sir, his life is on the line, sir. Oh, no. Well, poor chap. He's gonna You're die. going to let him die in there. I am. But how are you going to get to your monies? Well, I will... Um, the monies have not been pressed or steamed. If you go to the cash point, it will be unable to dispense monies to you. Well, never mind. I'll have to find another one. Sir, it is your conscience we are talking about here, yeah, sir. Are you a Christian, sir? I am, but anyway, thank you, you are. so much well, indeed. A good Christian would give um, me his sword code. Yeah, well, I'm going to go now. But, Bye -bye. sir, it is totally innocent. 
Hello, Big R. Hello? Hello. Alright, is that B Big R? Yeah, Big R. Yeah, yeah alright. Um, I'm calling about the, uh, the, the job you got going. Okay, yeah, the canvas stretcher. The, the canvas stretcher, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, I just wanted to like, ask a few questions about it. Um, yeah, sure. How many days a week would I be required to like, stretch a canvas? I'm not sure. If you want to leave your details and someone will get back to you. My details? Yeah. All right. You got a pen? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. My name's Joe Foolie. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I am so cool. Mm -hmm. I stretch a canvas. Mm -hmm. Cause I got the guff. Do I get a job? Do I get a job? Do I do I get a job? Do I? I don't think so, to be honest. Hello. 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 I'm calling from internet service provider. Would you be interested in providing the service or the internet service providing the six times quicker? Um, I've got internet connection already. But it's six times faster things. You're going to provide six times faster than what I've got now? Maybe eight times faster. Things. Eight times. I've got, well, I've got eight megabyte lines. But it's uh, 42 megabyte things. Is there, is there any download limit? There's no downloading limits, nothing. You get to free internet service providing. You get to free wire, free uh, modems and... And you get a newsletter. How much is it per month? It's 80 pounds, 40 pence per month. But if you do sign up in the next three days, and you get to 40 pounds a month. That's okay. Uh, you sound like you are tempted. No, I'm happy. I've been with them for like four or five years and I have no problem. So there's no need to change in it. But you don't sound happy with it. Perhaps you want to I be do, happier. I do sound happy. I'm just not happy about this phone call right now. What do you mean? I'm not being rude, but you're kind of wasting my time. But I'm providing the service of faster providings. I don't need faster. 8 megabytes fast enough. No, it's 42 megabytes. It's the... I know, but I've got 8 megabytes. That's fast enough. But it's slow. Slow, but you, it's expensive. You want to... No, it's not. It's very cheap. I said 14 pounds in the first month, and 40 pounds the next month, and 80 pounds for the next month. Please, uh, I don't want to carry on this phone call. I think you're wanting to sign. No, I don't want to sign. No more contracts, man. No more contracts. But Too no... much contract. But it's pay as you go. Uh, I'm a student. I'm a student, so I got no money. But we're doing student specialings for internet service providing. Ah, it's a it's student okay. internet service providing. I don't work. I don't work as well. Uh, I got no money to pay. But I got no money to eat. I know. I'm sorry. But it's all your faultings. Yeah, it's all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm upsetting. Hello, Digger. Hello. Hello. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I, I didn't mean to get off on the wrong foot and that. I didn't mean to, like, beatbox down the phone and that. That's all right. I just... People are like, well, you're not allowed to do that. And, and then I think, well, that's just, like, per prejudice in that. Yeah. You know, but I mean, look, I mean, you know, if you want my number, yeah, then I, I don't mind. But, like, I'm in a relationship at the moment, yeah, just to, like, be straight with you and that. Well, I've got my boyfriend of four years standing right in front of me as we speak. Well, there, well, there you go then. That's the thing. It's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, we need to, like, keep it incognito and that. But, you know, I'm willing to, like, meet up for, like, a preliminary drink and that. And then, you know, if I like what I see... <laughs> Put down the phone. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Good afternoon, ma'am. My name's Mike. I'm calling from Lube Up Your Butthole and Dance the Fandango Entertainment Services Limited. Uh, could I ask you a few questions about your uh, lifestyle? I'm past Fandango stage, so you can forget all that. I'm sorry. <laughs> what about lubing up your butthole? No, thank you. Okay. Bye. 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 Hello and welcome to the flatline. Is it a house or a flat you are interested in? Boop. Flat. How many bedrooms does your flat have? 
One. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? One. One. Where do you require your one bedroom flat? Brighton. You require a one bedroom flat in Bristol. Is that right? No. No. Fucking hell, this is crap. Where do you require your one bedroom flat? Brighton. Brighton. You require a one bedroom house in Bedford. I look down and she's got a pair of balls. Marco, pair of balls. <laughs> Do you sell the pink puss bear? Good morning, Kyle Electronics. Hello? Hello, can I help you? Hello, yes. Uh, I wanted to check some prices for your Vusra player. For what, sorry? A Vusra. Vusra? Yes. What's a Vusra? It plays verse. Sorry? It plays verse. It you... plays what? You know the verse cassette tape? Oh, VHS. Verse, yes. Well, what is the problem then? But I want to buy a Vusre. We don't sell videos. You don't sell the verse? We don't sell videos. What do you sell? We don't sell. You don't sell? We repair videos. Oh, you do repair verse? Videos? Because, yes, verse. Because I wanted to buy a, a new Vusre. I have no it, idea what you're saying. The Vusre. I, I have no idea what you're saying. I had the Vusre and it broke. So I call up all these places, I say, I want to buy verse. They say, we don't sell the verse. Everything is doofed. You know, this Vusra, I've never heard of this before in my life, quite honestly. A Vusra player, it plays verse. Yeah, look, 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 we're going nowhere. If you bring your video in, we'll have a look at it for you. I bring in the Vusra. Okay. You want to buy verse tape? No, I don't want to buy enough. You don't own a Vusra. Hello. Hello, madame. Uh, could I ask you a series of security questions enabling me to enter your bank account? No, certainly not. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. More at the same time next week here on E4. But if you can't wait, you can see exclusive previews of next week's phone jacker on your phone by texting mobile to 83188 to get sent a link to the Channel 4 mobile site. Up next, Big Brother Live.